Hi guys, it's Ray. Uh, ignore my hands. I've been spray painting and stripping cups, so I am a hot mess. Um, let's just get that out of the way. We are going to do a different kind of technique today, and this is going to end up being a two-part um, video because I'm going to do this technique today, and then I have new product coming that we're going to use on this finished product when we get to that point. But um, what I'm going to start with is my UV resin dripped directly on the mold to look like water droplets. Um, so this part's not going to be all that interesting, but I'm going to use my Let's Resin UV resin and I'm going to do just dots. Some I'm going to make a little bit bigger, some I'm going to make a little bit smaller, and my brain does not like to work in random, so, but I am going to try. And I'm just going to stick to the flat surface of these coasters and trays. I'm going to try and do a couple smaller ones here and there. So, I'm going to put my UV lamp over this, and we're going to let it run several times, and I'll move it around so I make sure I get the whole thing, but I'm going to let it run for two-minute clips until these are fully cured, and then we will move into the next step. Okay, the next step of the process, now that these are set, I did them six minutes on one side, or face up, and then I flipped them all over and gave it all a two minute, just from the back side, just to be sure that what's going to be the top was completely set. But the next step is I'm going to dust all of them with the Let's Resin Chameleon Powders. I have the teal pulled, the blue pulled, and the galaxy pulled. I'm going to do the teal in this one. I'm going to use the same fluffy brush for all of them. So I'm going to do the teal, the blue, then the galaxy in that order with the same brush. Make sure I get all around the bubbles. I do want to dust the sides as much as possible. And these are one of those products that will sparkle and fly everywhere in your room. So be aware. And that should sit right on those bubbles, hopefully. I absolutely love these powders. I think they are gorgeous. 
and I can't wait to see how they work for this. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my resin and then I will be back when that's ready to pour or ready to mix the color in to pour. Okay, so this is one of those projects that because we're going to make the resin black, if you have old resin that has ambered in the bottle, this is the perfect time to use that. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's very yellow. Um, but we're not going to worry about it because we're going to tint this black. So it's perfect for using this. Some resins yellow worse than others, and this one just happens to be bad. So I'm going to put a little bit of black alcohol ink in it first, um, just to reduce any bubbles. And I really didn't pay attention to how much I mixed. Um, I did one-to-one, -one, but... <laughs> um, I don't know if I mixed enough, so I'm going to pour the tray first and then do the coasters. And I'm going to put some of my Illuminate Black Resin dye in here. I'm just going to kind of slowly pour gently to try and not move that chameleon mica. And I didn't level my trays yet. So I'm probably going to have to mix more for the second coaster. I thought I came up short, but... All right, so I need to mix up another couple hundred mLs, and I'll be back. Okay. So I'm going to grab a mini mister, spritz these for bubbles. This is just filled with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to move it over to my other table and level it and let it sit and dry overnight. And we will come back in the morning and unmold them and see how they look. Okay, so these should all be ready to come out of their molds now. So let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how cool are those? Oh my god, this one is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I did not expect this chameleon to be this color based on how it looked in the jar. Any of these. This one especially. Oh, I am so happy with these. Absolutely love them. Um, I think next time I'll make my drips a little bit smaller. Um, That's so cool. So, 
there we go um i'm gonna wrap this part of the video up here because this was just doing this technique um i've not actually seen this done i just i thought this was how it went um and i figured you know trial by fire so but this is definitely the method so I am thrilled. There's virtually no bubbles anywhere on any of these, so that was fantastic. And I got to use up my nasty old resin, so yay. Um, you'll see these again when my other product arrives, when it eventually gets here. And we will take it from there. But that is it for this water droplet technique in a mold using UV resin and mica powders. Um, you can do this with a flat mica powder. It's just not going to be quite as cool looking because, you know, chameleons add a little something extra. So, there we go.